Welcome to Crash Course 26. I'm Sammy Chimona Hihi Aliubi from the Eagle One Development Team. Uh, we've got here a great, great way to finish off the first series of tile mesh tutorials, and we're going to switch off after this. And this one is going to have to do with cables, which uh, for most people they don't use uh, tile meshes for, but um, I was actually taught something amazing today from one of our dev members, Dark Hawk, on how we can use tile meshes to actually make cables really fast. So I'm going to show you the traditional way, and then we're going to know this new way that. Uh, I have just found out myself. So thanks to Darkhawk. Uh, always loving uh, anyone who can teach us anything new. Uh, so anytime that a new method or, or a new way to do something is taught, uh, I want to make sure I share that with you because uh, this information is only going to benefit the community. I'm going to put here a console model just so we can make sense of what's going on. On the left-hand side here, I have a path tool. Path particle rope is not what we want. And I just noticed... Uh, that my face is being covered up by that. Uh, we don't want path particle tool. Uh, what we actually want is to switch to static cable. So I'm going to switch to static cable. And this is the traditional way. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on the ground. And you're going to notice that this cable that gets made is going to follow wherever I click. And uh, here's what's fun about this. I can't change it right now because anytime I click static cable, it's going to have a default radius size. And on top of that, it's just going to take whatever active material that I have, which is the air duct. Now that's fine. Let's uh, change this uh, to a cable uh, texture. So in the property, I'm going to click cable. Uh, I'm going to make sure that this is a material. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the radius. I'm going to go to two, make it smaller. There we go. It makes sense. Change the spacing to four so it smooths it a little bit. Uh, move the texture scale down so that way we can see some repeats. There we go. And now what we have here is a cable. One thing that's really tough about cables, though, is you'll notice that when you place it on the ground, uh, the, the, it's going to stick halfway through. You know, they're going to actually change this. They've already changed this in the upcoming sandbox tools. Uh, but for right now, in the tools that uh, we have, if you don't have that, you're going to have to actually use this technique. I would create it and then move it off the ground. Uh, you know, you might have to get to a grid of 0.5. And then uh, any other adjustments that you need to make uh, individually, you can do uh, go into object mode, select the object, and then select on each individual node. And you can drag it around if you want to. Uh, you can add more if you hold T and, and you begin to hold shift and extrude. You can continue to extrude. Uh, but uh, for right now, really like this if you want to, holding down shift. Uh, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and leave this, and uh, we're going to add a, a, a fun technique to this, which is another cable, but we're just going to overlap it. So I'm going to put static cable. Uh, let's have this running from out here. Okay, I'm going to have it go over and around. Same here. Click on one side. Click on the top. Click on the other. Notice it's creating this giant one. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Click on the top. Click on the other. And then let's just have this cable finish out over here. Okay, press enter uh, to finish it. Alt enter. Let's change this to cable texture radius. Let's change this to one. And uh, uh, the texture uh, scale, uh, let's just make sure that we can actually see that. And uh, now what we have is cables that are going over cables. Uh, I do want to make sure, though, that I change the spacing. Let's change this to about a spacing of three. That looks good. And uh, I'm going to move it up a little bit. So moving down the grid to 0.5-ish. Try to find a spot where you think the cables are physically going over the other. And now I have here you know, cables and some cables going over other cables. Uh, this is another fun technique if you really want to make this look uh, uh, super, super complicated. Uh, type in the word cable. Down here, there's a bunch of random cables that you can use. Um, I like this one, though. Use this model, Cable Deco Ground. Okay, it, it look it doesn't have a material on it. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and let me move this so that way it doesn't look like it's clipping through too much. And uh, I'm just going to override the material. So double-click this object, go to Render Properties, and where it says Override Material. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Type in Cable, select this one, and right away. We have our cables. So this is a traditional way of making cables. This is a great way to make cables, but I'll show you what. In the next tutorial, we have a much better way of making cables, and uh, I'm excited to show you this, so make sure you don't miss out on it. 